Smashville. Yep, start out on Smashville. Again, we have Asa versus KSM, KSM, FHC, Kronos, the Soapy Surprise. Again, always important for branding purposes that we say his entire tag. <laughs> um, Kronos has not played in a while, as far as I know, at least in tournament. Um, but uh, yeah, he, might, been... he might have been playing. I know he's been playing friendlies the whole day. Um, so yeah, let's just see. Uh, let's see how he does. Um, off with very good percent. Obviously, anytime Bowser gets his hands on you, it's a lot of damage that you're just about to get hit by. Oh, this the is good. The down tilt at the ledge, that was almost, almost death. He gets it again. Oh, hate to see that happen. Yeah. The, 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 the angle is slightly different than it is on Ness. And yeah, I think he did the Ness angle because the projectile travels slower for Lucas, so he hit himself more uh, horizontally. Yeah. Oh, oh, wow. Well? Just jumps right into that down air, and Asa gets it right back. Yeah, definitely should have been uh, more aware and probably used the uppy uh, first and... Like, conserve his jump. Yeah. And now, but, um, <laughs> Asa looking like he's content to just play this waiting game, which is exactly what he should be doing, honestly. Yes, very very smart of him to just kind of wait it out. Um, but uh, Bowser also should not approach. No. There's no reason for him to. Because Bowser gets grabbed by Lucas, and it's a lot of the same stuff the other way. Is it Pixel? No. No, he's just going to go for an air. This is the air. That's weird. Yeah. I mean, it was. A, I think it's... It's not even a DI mix-up. Like no, you, you read just the do DI. It, yeah. yeah. Um, you just buff. You just buff with an air and then follow wherever they go. You're very mobile in the air with Lucas. Ooh, I like that. Uh, that landing and then hitting up, up tilt. Yeah. Ooh, uh, going for the for it Poyo. All, it almost worked. Going for what he got on Poyo. <laughs> all right, I like the mix-up with his down airs. Uh, the when if you down air while you're still in hit some with a lot of characters like Sheik, ZSS, and other characters that have falling down airs, you'll kind of get a delayed. Uh, and you'll the move will end, and you'll be able to still act out of it before you hit the ground. You still have that giant hitbox under you to yeah. deal with anyone trying to do anything Oftentimes, to you. Oftentimes, all of it will spike. Yes. And it's very terrifying. Uh, all right, this could be bad. Not quite a down throw up air percent. Really? I don't think so. Actually, yeah. It's I, think, I think now it right. would be. Yeah, Bowser, Bowser, heavy, very heavy boy. I'm okay. surprised he didn't go for it there. Yeah, uh, now yeah, now we're, we're getting close to up throw percents. Yeah, I forgot that... Uh, Lucas has two kill throws, but we'll probably only be seeing up throw in this matchup. Luke, actually, all of Lucas' throws have a potential kill, except for down air, but that leads to a uh, down throw that leads into up air. Up beat. Oh, Nair, oh, wow. okay. Playing this offstage game with Bowser. Yeah. Gets the right recovery angle. Mostly Bowser playing the offstage game with Lucas. Oh. I feel like. Is that it? No. no. Can't quite get there in time. Oh, tipper forward air. Not quite going to kill. Oh, <laughs> man. Oh, man. He just sails right past. Right past the ledge. Not sure if that was holding down or just he missed it in general. He just missed the ledge, yeah. I think. But uh, KSM, KSM, FHE, Chronos, <laughs> the Soapy Surprise was laughing it off. <laughs> so it's not that it's not that big of a deal. Yeah. Um, right, so I'm not sure there's any adjustments that Chronos really needs to make. He played the matchup super well. Yeah, he he definitely wasn't getting hit by uh, a lot of crazy. He like wasn't even getting zoned out. I feel. Yeah. He didn't he have any was, trouble approaching. Yeah. Yeah. And that and the down air was a good like thing to do and like good idea because if he hits, it kills obviously. Mm -hmm. And if he does it, he grabs the ledge for free. Yeah. But yeah. Definitely. He just, he, you know, he just missed it. I mean, uh, yeah. I I would not even attempt to to try to like to try to hit that <laughs> while yeah. he's coming down the yeah, Bowser bomb. Sure. I wouldn't even attempt yeah. to try to challenge it. That's yeah. what I was looking Going for. Go back to Smashville. I'm surprised he's still not going for these nares. Yeah. Very, very interesting choice. Uh, Lucas gets just a ton of damage on Bowser, or any character of his sort of combo ability mm -hmm. with that nair. Yeah, um, Lucas's nair, very SDI-able. However, uh, Bowser's just a very thick boy, yeah. and uh, probably going to get probably gonna hit by that no matter what. PK freeze. Can't imagine. He oh, my God. <laughs> he's just being Lots barely spaced out. Okay. Yeah, Aitsu is definitely doing a good job. Yeah, he's playing pretty smart right now. Neutral air? Grab neutral air. There you yeah. go. That's a lot of percent. Neutral air does so much percent it's if you get all the hits. Yeah, I think it's like 27 or 28. Something crazy. Man, all these retreating quarters. I did not know that Bowser's forward air auto canceled like yes, that. It or does. at least it has like little end lag. I'm Bowser's not sure. back air does too. That is terrifying. Yeah. But uh, out of short hop? You, yeah, you can't hit a lot of characters with it because it goes so high, but it does auto cancel. Don't agree with that up smash. Maybe trying to catch a landing, but uh, Just yeah. Caught by these landing grab, these landing uh, trap grabs. Mm -hmm. Oh, goes for the grab. This. I'm not. I'm not. I don't think I'm it's not sure. I yeah. think it's too too floaty. But if he's at air dodges, then maybe. Yeah. 
Back here. Oh my goodness, he just... Second time. That's the only way that, that uh, KSMK is going to achieve the Sophie Surprise. Kronos. Kronos Sophie the Sophie Surprise, thank you. Yep. Has been able to get his kills. Yeah, as the just mess up on the uppies. What I'd like to see is maybe like a down tilt F smash from the Lucas. That, uh, yeah. I know that's really fast and really hard. I think you just have to jump out of the down tilt. Otherwise, you do get hit by that F smash. Hits him with that gigantic forehead. Take mm -hmm. first. Take his first off. Yeah. The, uh, the PK boys have very scary noggins. Yep. I gotta hold all that uh, that side power somewhere. And Kronos just messing with all these grabs. But I mean, he really he can afford to. Oh my goodness! Oh, he had been a little bit lighter. That was Go it. Go high. Oh, nice. I like that. And we are covering low. That's smart because yeah. Bowser really can't challenge you if you're at that height. Yeah. Is that it? No. no. Now it'll be it. Yeah. Without rage, this should be. That should be death. Yep. Yep. Good stuff coming in from KSM, KSM, FHC, Kronos. Quote the silver surprise. Thank you for. Such good com commentators of synergy. We complete each other's sentences exactly, like exactly. so good. Um, but yeah, going into <laughs> going into game three. Um, yeah, someone's saying Lucas was on the Smash Bros. platform for like half of that match, and Chronos basically did nothing until the <laughs> until the end. Yeah, I mean, which is true. That's kind of how you have to play with Bowser, and when someone's willing mm -hmm. to, to lay me out like that. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, yeah, Ace is definitely no slouch to, or no stranger to laming people out. Yeah. Yeah, I believe these two are very closely seated. Um, I think he's. I think Asa is the ninth seed, and the Soapy Surprise is the eighth seed. That sounds about right. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, this is definitely the winner of this has to play against Atlas. Ooh, that's rough. Transition going that. Go, finally getting off of Smashville, going to Battlefield. Yeah, this is the this was Ace's counter pick. Uh, a, I think this is a good counter pick. I do too, because the higher ceilings, definitely. And Bowser doesn't really like to play with. Uh, oh wow, Bowser doesn't really like to play with platforms that much. Uh, actually, uh, from what I've talked about with Kronos, he really likes platforms because I think Up Smash covers like all tech that, that is, that is on that, that platform. Um, he's definitely he's definitely comfortable on it. So. Uh, I was saying these spot dodges through things. Like Ace has been pretty on point with that kind of stuff. He just mm -hmm. hasn't been able to maintain it forever. Ooh, I like that up angle left tilt that we saw. Yeah, and he keeps putting himself in situations where he needs to like keep uh, dodging these options. And again, Bowser only needs a couple of them to hit. Like he could throw out as many ones as he wants. Oh, that should that be it. Could be death. Oh, he air dodges through it. Air dodge read? No, no air dodge read. No air dodge at all. He just he goes well. That worked. That works. <laughs> And indeed it did, but now I'm not like how he's landing. Like, it's just I feel like he's down airing and down being too much. Yeah, I mean it's it's tough on on like I was saying before, it's tough on platform stages because yeah. there's not a whole lot of space for you to maneuver around. Yeah, he benefits a lot from being underneath them, but when he's above them, not I want to oh. see like a jab or something yeah. maybe. Yeah. But uh, down tilt it's also a there. scary place to be that close to the PJ missile out. or whatever it is. Ooh, I like that. He tried to cover his landing and was just barely misspaced. Battlefield pick coming, going up against him. It's the up smash, though. Ton of end lag on those. On both. Well, not as so much on down air, but on down B for sure. Mm -hmm. All right. And down, down air working. Okay. This is We're not what of, I expected. We've seen a lot of interesting options coming out of yeah, this game. Yeah, to say the least, yeah. interesting. <laughs> um, okay, let's see. Right. PK fire. That was a good F tilt. That's, he's just doing a good job of kind of sitting at center stage and forcing Asa to approach to try to get back on stage. That's oh. so much damage. Oh, okay. That was so much damage. Oh, he doesn't get back the air. smash that time. Oh, he doesn't get through it, though. <laughs> he tries to get through it and back Oh, air. man, that's the worst feeling. Oh, this is really close. This is terrifying. Oh, he didn't get through it. Oh, oh, he, he goes for it read. He went for the air dodge read. I respect that. And I think, yeah, that, now, that, I think now he's at kill percent. Yeah, I think he might be at kill percent now. Is that it? And oh, no, he goes, goes for forward, forward air. air. I don't think he wanted forward air. Uh, I'm not sure. He might be saving up air for just pressuring through a platform. And he's talking to people behind him during the middle of the match. Uh, you know, sometimes you just have to do whatever it takes to calm your nerves. Oh, there you go. Is that it? Yes, it is. There you go. Kronos. I'm sorry. KSM, KSM, FHC, Kronos. The Kronos. soapy surprise. Takes this match. 2-1 over Asa. Thank you very much for uh, for getting this whole tag and yeah. correcting me when I when I messed up on it. I was very close, two one. Uh, good stuff to Kronos though. He'll yeah. be playing against probably Atlas, but possibly CPU one. Uh, 
going into uh, winners quarterfinals next. Yep. Uh, next on stream, we will have a. Uh, let's have Ages of the Grail versus Grunion on stream. Ages of the Grail versus Grunion. Mine. 